production. Hey, it's Amy Ross with you. A total fire ban is in place for the Mallee and North Central weather districts as hot gusty conditions take over Bendigo and Mildura. Like last week, a multi-hazard risk is present, with thunderstorms expected later this Savo. Rowan Luke from the CFA is encouraging all Victorians to have a bushfire plan in place for today. Whilst we're not expecting the same conditions as what we experienced last Tuesday, we are expecting to see a challenging day, a very dynamic day, that will put pressure on our communities and, and our fire services. Meantime, industrial action won't be disrupting your train travel today, but the hot weather might. An extreme heat timetable is in place on the Maraburra line. The Bendigo, Echuca and Swan Hill lines down anyway for track work. The Department of Transport's Dan Velling says they'll need to slow services down to reduce the risk of track and train faults. That could lead to a longer term disruption. So we slow down the trains, less damage to the tracks. It adds a few minutes to the journeys, but we'll save you time in the long run. The Premier's Bendigo office has again been targeted by vandals, this time pro-Palestinian activists, smashing windows and leaving bloody dolls, mimicking the bodies of those killed in Gaza. And Mildura MP Jade Benham wants to see more done for the Mildura-based Public Hospital Emergency Department. She's set to raise the issue in State Parliament today and says there's a lot of pressure on hospital staff as it is. It's the worst performing ED in the state and that needs to change. And can I just remind everyone that this is not, it's not a reflection of those wonderful healthcare workers, the doctors, the nurses. Some international basketball action taking place at Bendigo's Red Energy Arena tonight with the Boomers taking on Korea. They'd seem to be the informed side too, defeating Iran by 30 points last time out at the local arena. All the news you need, free every weekday in just 12 minutes. The Front is made by the journalists at The Australian. We have hundreds of reporters and in The Front you get their candid views behind the headlines. Search The Front wherever you get your podcasts.